Another Saturday, and you're welcome to Restoration with Stacey. I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of our sponsors, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Special Ice, GTP New Style, and of course, I look super fabulous in my GTP New Style by Ophelia of ABS Collection. I'm saying thank you to Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad. And of course, to my smartest breakfast, Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes. I hope you're buying, right? Yeah. Are you? because you enjoyed the things I gave you, so you have to buy. It's your turn. Well, I'll say a very big thank you to Sir and Bombs and Logistics, and they are the importers of Obatampa rice and Victoria rice. And today, I will be giving everybody rice. Yeah. Am I not generous? I am so generous. Yeah, so today you all get to go home with Obatampa rice. And of course, I also have to say thank you to all the people who make me look beautiful. To Nancy Black, thank you always for my makeup. To Ophelia of ABS Collections, thank you very much for my costume. To Onya Africa, you should be watching out for Onya Africa. She is responsible for the accessory you see on me today. And I'm saying thank you to Roji of Roji. Ackerman. You should pass by Roji's. She would make sure she gives you this beautiful hairstyle or any other hairstyle that you want. So there is one thing that God gives all of us and he doesn't take it. It's up to you to really use. And our guest today has really used her talent given to her by God very well and has even added some on on this earth. She's a woman I love so much, a woman I respect so much because she really paved the way in the showbiz industry for most of us young women. Please let's welcome our guest for today, Madam Grace Obama. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through. And it's just for you. I can't help it there as much as I try to call her Madam Grace Omabo. I always say mommy. Open your eyes yes, and you, you are. See. Let me get my hug. You're looking beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. So are you, mommy. Look at the, 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 the shoes you are standing on. Yes. I yes, remind I you I of the Obra days, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Please give it up for her one more time. <laughs> oh. Mommy, how are you doing? Good, my dear. You Good. never age. She still looks like the 90s, right? Yes. Mommy, what's your secret? I want to know. Yeah, you want to know my secret? Know. What about you? I eat a lot of ampesi and uh, <laughs> uh, contemporary stew. Okay. I don't put a lot of oil, oil on, on it. it. Yes, with Kobe. <laughs> I, am, I am a villager, so I like those type of food. If I'm coming to visit, you don't prepare fried rice and, and fried this. Rice. No, 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 no. Today, I'm going to take you down memory lane a little. When did you start this whole show business thing? My daughter, before we start, let me express my sincere sympathy to the victims of the fire and the floods, and the floods. of Ghana last Wednesday. Was it Wednesday that you came yeah, to my it was, place? Yeah. It was Wednesday. And uh, I haven't come out of the shock that I had for Ghana to experience such a thing. Oh, after 50 years of independence, then it means that somebody didn't do his work well. Right. Our leaders have failed us. Yes, uh, I think I started when I I was in the middle school, that is a boarding school. Wow. I attended Abitifi Girls Boarding School, and it was all girls. And uh, but when I was very young, my mother tells me I was shy. But when I got to the boarding school, because maybe there were no boys, boys. and uh, <laughs> we had to do everything, I, I started acting actively. And most of the time, I would do the male part because mm -hmm. my voice is a little bit deep. deep. And uh, I did well over there. So from there, I went straight to St. Monica's Training College. And over there, when I got to my final year, I was the entertainment prefect. 
And from there, I came out to teach at Bishop's Girls School. Whilst I was there, I was writing poetry. I was in charge of the place in the school. school. And uh, we were doing, that was the time we were doing shows at the art center. Yeah. You know, every Saturday, art center was a busy place. Mm -hmm. We were doing plays like Mambo, Jogolo, whatever. The trial of Kwame and Kroma, you know, and I would say Kofi, Kofi, Fatofi, and Ko, they were all with us. We were in the theater together doing stage shows. And I was doing poetry on stage. And when South Africa and uh, Angola and all those places, uh, countries in South Africa, we were writing poems about them and all that. And then from there, I decided to, you know, do drama. You know? And uh, I didn't even go to the drama school when they appointed mm -hmm. me the drama organizer of the schools of Accra, uh -huh. the Accra district. So I, after I've gone to Legon to do a diploma, I, I was going around schools, teaching the teachers to, you know, to teach the children by drama, using the method of drama. I mean, if you are teaching maths, you don't have to, you know, be yeah, very rigid. Strict blackboard two and by chalk. Two, two, four. Four plus four, eight. No. Use it in a play form. Mm -hmm. You four to one, two here, four to one, two there, and you'll be singing, I'm going to prepare some stew. I need some four to one. I have another four. Yeah, let me put them, and then you'll be dancing with the children. Oh. And the children will enjoy it, mm -hmm. and it will work in their minds. So that's what I was doing. And then, uh, finally, I left for Europe. But it's continued. And when I came back, we started Obra. And then from Obra to this uh, Metro TV show, the talk show, and uh, by the fireside, fireside. I remember when Which I still love. <laughs> <laughs> when I remember when Anna Kredu wanted me to start the fireside because by then the Legon guys had already started it and we saw that it wasn't going all that way. So she called me and asked, Mommy, have you who cried of him? I said, Who cried the meaning this what I could have said that? You look too polished for the village. I said, if you have pa. Me, my nanti in my final year. <laughs> I remember there was a time when I mean nanti. If you cross it, go five six miles to the middle school before I went to Abiti Abiti Girl School, barefooted. I have to. Eh, my friend is. Eh, you brought it. Joe, your friends are brought it. Joe, we are some bottom. When we were going to write exams, we would stay with somebody and we're sleeping on the floor and all that. So I keep on telling my girls and those that I meet to advise that, look at me, Odokno, the way I struggle to be like this. But I always said that I, I wasn't going to be like my mother. My mother, my mother was a politician. She was one of the women that followed Kwame Nkrumah, you wow. know, and she was beautiful. She would go to, she was having a at Oda, and she would, she would go to the ballroom and dance. When Kwame Nkrumah is coming around, they cook the food and they'll be singing oh, Kwame, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nkrumah show, boy. That is, <laughs> okay, I let I all those, where uh, yeah, where I got it from. And uh, I said, uh, my mother, when my mother, lost her marriage, she suffered. The last, by, by, the last man took her to Achim Achiasi, and she was farming. The baby in the farm. Another baby, she had it on the toilet. Whoa. And yes, she would go to the farm, come and cook for the man, while the man was chasing other women. And my uncle had to come and take her. They even had to give me to a headmaster. Because the headmaster saw that I was okay, I was clever. And the way the man was treating us. So the headmaster came to my mother 
and asked my mother to let me come and stay with, with him. And over there, I, I learned a whole lot of things, you know. So when my uncle took us to go to, back to the village, my uncle said, I'm going to take you to a boarding school. That is how I went to the boarding school. school. And you know, at our time, uh, women were not even encouraged so to go to school. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, be worry. But my uncle saw something in me, and he went to see girls boarding school. From there, I went straight to St. Monica's, and it went on and on and on. And uh, Tracy, my daughter, I haven't. I haven't stopped until recently. Six years. Was it six years ago yeah. that you had a problem and all that? We'll, we'll get to the point. Uh -huh. So it's been like that uh, by the fire came, uh, Metro TV, talk show. Mm -hmm. was, and I was running all these programs at the same, same time. time. It was too much, but I was so doing it and having strength. children at the same time. So how many know? children do you have now? Six. Yay! Wow. Such a, people see me. I you really, have twins. I have twins, okay. a set of twins. So people see me, uh, I, I, the gossipers, they say, ah, when I was on top, pa, mommy, where do you want to go? Now, we'll be our wife. Yeah, well, we'll 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 yeah. You even yeah. hear that. Yeah. Now, a bad time, but it was so bad, but uh, oh, you say you're beat me. But I, 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 Six. Six of them, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, mommy. <laughs> and you know, like, Mami Dokno was the, let's say, Yvonne Nelson of yes. her time. Yes, And David Donto was the John Dumelo of their time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you, yes. you always played all those yes. love roles yes. with him. Exactly. I, I remember I watched one, you called him Kofi Abraham. Kofi Abraham. <laughs> I still call him Kofi Abraham. <laughs> right. Anytime I say that, he just laugh and shake his head. It's true. So how did the name Odokno come about? Yeah, uh, the first episode of Obra, uh, I sold Kinke in it. And, uh, you know, at that time we were doing all the stories around the railway station. And so we had a station master. And uh, Ghana man came because uh, um, he was the accountant at the station. And uh, I was supposed to be Ghana woman. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, it was like uh, the sugar mommy sugar that did it. Ghana man gave me scholarship because he was such a cheap man. He wanted to eat kinky free. <laughs> because I was, you know, selling kinky and I will usually take the kinky mm -hmm. to the railway station and I'll go and serve him and then he will eat it free. Then I saw that he was also handsome and uh, I would dance. <laughs> I would dance in front of him. So he fell in love wow. with me and I helped him to make money and bought a car and all that. Then he, you know men, you know men, you know them. <laughs> Some of them anyway. Why does he have? Some of them. So at a time, he saw a very beautiful girl and then, and then started cheating on me. And then, you know, when you, you, you fall in love with a beautiful girl, you definitely need a lot of money for money. her dresses yeah. and all that. And so he squandered the government money and he was imprisoned. And so they gave him the Ghana but I was selling kinky. And any time I got to the railway station, the station master, he's dead. He will call me, hey, mommy, Dokro, and then Swaba, Father Dokro, and Brahmi, and Tombi. And everybody started calling me, mommy, Dokro. And I said, no, my name on this show is Ghana Woman. But that, that got stuck. But mm -hmm. later on, I liked the name yeah. because I was doing good to people. I was giving people food to eat, clothing, shelter. accommodation, shelter, and all that. So when you come, yeah. yes. So I took that name on myself, Odokunu, because I supply can get to people. Restoration. And I love your versatility. Because aside yeah. acting, you started singing. Right. 
the first time I saw you sing was on, I think, Weekend Render on GTV. Right, right. And everybody in the house was screaming, hey, mommy, don't come on anymore. <laughs> and we all wanted to hear her sing. Yes. And you did it so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What Was that also part of the talents or you just... Yes. Uh, Learned it along the way. No, it's part of the talent. You know, we, we are Presbyterians. My mother, like I always say, my mother and the sisters, they were, they were in the choir. In the choir. And even here, I was in the choir. And then I had a 10-piece band, you know, Obra. It was Obra show bass, show group. We were touring. We we're doing stage show, show and we had to, you know, sing, sing. and dance. I just watch them go. I was singing yesterday, I was watching Akosu Japan on TV, singing and dancing with her guests. And that was what I was doing. And my girls would, would dance. I had my own band, you know. So at a time, I thought we should come out with our own songs. Mm -hmm. So I composed, we rehearsed, and we recorded them. The Obra song was composed by Nanam Pedu and he gave it to us. I uh, wanted uh, something for a theme, the theme for, the, for, the, for, the, for the plays that we were doing. So um, Pedu composed that for us and we were always singing Nanam Pedu songs. So I said to myself, let's start to make our own songs. Then we started the songs and they became hit, you know, so that's, that's how it came in. I sing, I sing so well, tenor, alto and tenor, that's, wow. that's what I... I don't even know what the difference is. <laughs> <laughs> I, my my also part tremble. is, no, it's bathroom voice. <laughs> I, I, you if, sing in the bathroom. Oh, yes. I, and I sing so well when I'm in the bathroom, but, but when, when I'm out, don't try me. <laughs> that one, I sing problem. <laughs> yeah. Trouble. Trouble and problem. And problem. I beg you. <laughs> I, I don't sing so well. <laughs> and d during the time you started singing, you mm. were invited to most of the big shows right. of that time. And right. I remember there was a particular show right. that you went with Adjoa Smart. Exactly. And um, the special guest for that show was former President Rollins and mm -hmm. Mrs. Rollins. Yes. And I think Adjoa got so <laughs> excited, she took off her clothes and threw it on the first couple. Yes. And after that, there were a lot of speculations. Yes. Like people said you had been called by the BNI, they had called you to a guard room and everything. What mm. really happened? Nothing happened. Really? Ghana for Ghana for. Nothing. The man was happy. Rolling some, some of these things on funny series. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because that show, I think we're doing it for, for Nana, mm -hmm. uh, the first lady, to, to honor her, you know. And uh, she was very close to me. You know that yeah. at first I, I was walking with her. She was very close to me. And they enjoyed these things. They didn't cry and be or Sanatadi Shakolani. Or Tunatadi. One said that's all. So they didn't say anything, nothing. But I. I got sad because of the way Ghanaians talked about, about it. it. You know that it's still happening, mm -hmm. you know. If you are a star and you do something little, the way they will run you down. Even look at uh, Yvonne, Yvonne Nelson, this Doomsaw yeah. Vigil. Look at how people run her down. But it was a good thing that she yeah, did. She wasn't back, you know. Yes. I, I was old, I couldn't walk. I, I would have gone to join them. <laughs> <laughs> but in my room, I was praising them, you know. We should do these things. We should talk about problems in Ghana. If we don't talk, things won't change in Ghana. I, I believe that these gutters and whatnot, mm -hmm. people have gone for money to do it. And they because didn't do I it. think two days ago, my husband sent yes. me something mm -hmm. which um, indicated that mm -hmm. in 2012, which is March 10th of 2012, mm -hmm. the government was given $795 million Look at that. to work on our drains. So now I'm asking, where is that money? Where is that, that, ma that well, money? How come the drains are still the same? And they didn't do it. So, so we should talk. I think we should all be concerned. Yes, and the about stars. You are, you are supposed to talk. Stacy, I look at you and when I look at the girls who, who are standing in my place, because I'm old, I can't go on like that. Some of you have got, got to do it for me. Talk. Yes, ma'am. You see, talk about things that are going on. 
talk about uh, empowerment of women, women. talk about uh, the vulnerable, talk about the youth, talk about things, social things that will, 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 will let, let the country up. go up. You know, but if you say that you will listen to what people will say, the criticisms and things, you, you will never, never do, do it. Do it. Continue to do it. Okay? Uh, when they talk about you, when they, you will really end it in day, it seems to hear. Now, nah, I bounce back. <laughs> it seems to hear that. And fine, so mm. uh, when they run me down after I just asked you, if at that time, now, nah, I suffer so much mm -hmm. like this. And it, it went deep inside my bow. But these days, okay, my dream one, one week in Pono. No, otherwise, you will die early. You will. Yes. You will. I'm really taking points. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I am. Because mm -hmm. if you want to listen to what people would yes, say. This day I had, I think sometime, a month ago or two, I had some people talking about somebody, I don't want to mention them, shouting and talking about you on radio and cursing you. And mm -hmm. Didn't you say the right thing? Did you say the right thing? <laughs> no. Just yes, let so it, sometimes, let yeah, it go you just like have this. to let yes. them go. Yes, let it go like this mm -hmm. and continue to do your work. Okay. Politics. Uh, politics. Yes. Right now we are doing politics. Are you are you still active? No. With politics? I am not active because what I've seen is if you go into politics, if you are you are an artist and you go into politics and your party loses, <laughs> you'll suffer. <laughs> do, do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? If your party wins, fine. Good day for you. Good day for you. You can go on with your work. They will help you to do your, your work. But if your party loses, you will be in hell like me. I was with the MPP. They lost, and I also lost. And me, they, they tried me. They destroyed my work. Mm -hmm. I had to run away to Europe to, to my children uh, to rest a while. I, I was stressed up. They took my passport when I was in the court. Huh. I was Are you sick. Kidding? You had to go to court? Oh, for three years I was going to court. You didn't hear about that. No. Oh. Yes, they tried me for three years. On what charge? On what charge? I have an offer that they said uh, somebody, the little boy has been abused. Oh, he, the the little boy was abused in my orphanage. I had an orphanage that I didn't have a license. Oh, the charges were 24. Wow. Oh, yes. I, I heard it on radio, but I thought, oh, I mean, come on. There should be some sort of investigation. Yes. You just don't get on radio oh, to say something. Oh, they took me to court. And as time went on, they started canceling the charges one by one. Mm -hmm. This why they would So say, if it's 24 months. 24. <laughs> And uh, whenever it is time for me to go to the court or two days to the court, I won't sleep. I yeah, would think because they now. just wanted to put me in prison, just that, to destroy my career. So they did that. Uh, then getting to the third year, the judge, God bless her, she's a woman. But when they first gave her the case, you see, because that woman hates anybody that cheats children or make money out of children or sodomizes a child or something, abuses a child or a woman. So at first she was very wholesome. But as we continued, continued. and the stories started coming out and women that have helped, the social welfare even came in to say something for me and my lawyer, a woman was so good the lawyer, the judge asked them, the prosecutors, hey, namu say namu di asem, se mu ni ma se mu di aya mu kubu se mu ye. You must actually do your work well. What has this woman done? I remember a week before I was discharged, acquitted and discharged, and the prosecutor, I remember her name, Emifa. She said, well, I, I don't know, but my my bosses asked me to do it. And who she she just, her bosses were? My dear, I don't want to mention them here. She just said, my bosses asked me to do it. No, see, oh, my dear, 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 my
when you see a friend, my middle acrobat, I want to know you have to listen. Yeah. Go and write or say, let your lawyer go and write the, how do you say, the last uh, address or whatever and uh, bring it next week. Me, I'm going on leave and let me see what I do. But they, they charged me with some of the, the inmates, women like you who came and live at my place because they were abused, their children were abused. Three years, four years, seven years, they were sexually abused by a pastor. And, and, and social welfare took them and brought, they, them, uh, brought to them to me. You come to my house, my orphanage, it was filled with women and children. Me, dear, I wouldn't say so I don't have a room. I thought so we were a family. Mm -hmm. So far as that person is being abused and can't get anywhere to stay, come and stay here. We will feed ourselves. That was all. And I was working to feed them. People didn't know. Government was not supporting you. Nobody. Out of your own pocket. Uh, yes. Apart from churches, women groups and all that. Who would come and donate. Come and donate. Apart from that. And I had a school there. You came and saw the yeah. school. Teachers were teaching them. I had to pay them. Nobody. Because I said to myself, my children are six. Four of them are in, in Europe and US. Uh, what, are, what at all am I looking, looking for? for? So I just want to use what God has given to me to bless other people, that's all. And uh, they took me to court. So the last day, the, uh, my case was the first one. By 8 o'clock, I was acquitted and discharged. My lawyer even wasn't there. The, the judge read there and read and read, and they said, Madam Grace Omabu, you are acquitted and discharged. I said, eh, what's the day? <laughs> you didn't even see it coming. No. No. I said, what's it there? I said, you are acquitted and discharged. Nah, my sorry, but box, you know. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go to her. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Meanwhile, one of my sons, you know, adopted son who is now in, in London, came with his car, top open. He was waiting outside. So when I got outside, he, he just put me in the car ah. and we're driving through the streets of Accra. Mommy, don't cry if you. Mommy, oh. don't cry if you. Why? My dear, why? Why should people hate people like that? Politics. It, isn't it amazing? Because for you, you always or you always stand for oh. the rights of women yes. and children. So that is it. Who even initiated that? Oh, my dear, you don't want me to mention them so. I, I learned all this from that particular woman. Uh, she actually helped me to help women because when I was with her, okay, it was a former first lady. Not that, I'm not saying that she actually initiated my decision. But when I was uh, with, with NDC, in fact, that woman made me love to empower women because she was doing it the 31st December oh, women's you, movement. That, that, was, that was why I got myself attached to her. And then she actually asked me to do this fireside. And I thought it was a good thing. And that was the reason why I even had to go from MPP to NDC. Because so over, initially you were with the MPP. MPP. Yeah, well, if you come to my constituency, my mother, my everybody, my, my friends, my family, we know Achim, Achim side or Eastern region near Oda, most of us are with MPP. But I had to, you know, do this because you I thought that passion. with that I could help women, I could help children. And then in my constituency, they were so back, backwards, they were deprived. You know, they didn't have anything. So I thought that let me, let me go to parliament mm -hmm. and come and help them. The roads were bad, the houses were bad. Right now, it's a little bit improved, but it is not all that good. Yeah. And I thought that with that, I can, I can speak for women in parliament. That was all. I didn't think about anything like going there for money or this. Yeah. I thought I was going to help women and children. But when uh, we didn't win, because it was that time that Kufo had and come. Ko came to power. Yeah. So I had to rest for a year. And I wanted to cross carpet at that time. Mm -hmm. But I was afraid because I was warned mm -hmm. that if I cross, I may die. So wow. I just kept quiet. But after 
after the first term of before, and I saw that they were doing the things for women, like mm -hmm. women who will go to hospital without bills, uh, 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 those who will go and deliver free, mm -hmm. school feeding, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of things for children and women, the poor and the vulnerable. I said, ah, uh -huh. hey, this is good, I'll go there. Mm -hmm. I'll go back there mm -hmm. and continue to do what I was yeah. doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So I went there, I went back into my party, because at that time, my, my mentor was angry with me, you know. We started drifting apart. Did you there try the, to sort yeah, out yeah, your differences? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the husband told her to sort out differences, the differences with me, but uh, we couldn't do it because I said, no, I wasn't going back. I said I wasn't going back, and that brought the rift between us. But when Nana was campaigning, you remember I was on, yeah. on the platform talking, because everywhere that I go, the women will run after me, yeah. and I will talk and tell them what Kufo's government is going Had to for yes, have for them and all that. And that brought my, my hatred, you know? So when we lost, they said, ah, Mami Doko. Even at the airport when I was traveling, somebody phoned. Mami Dokuru, oh, Janio, and all that. And my, my, my relatives called me whilst the plane hadn't taken off to tell me, say, Ya tu dinwo, radio su se wu jani. Oh, yes, it was serious. But look at me, I said to myself, but Odokuru, who am I? I'm just an ordinary woman. Mm -hmm. I cannot change uh, 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 the course of, uh, of the party, whether they are going to win or what. So we've lost. Let me go. Leave me alone. Take a rest. Then when I went, they attacked my orphanage. So I wasn't here when all these things were being done. My, my, my social worker called me and said, Mommy, this is what is happening, so you have to come back. Some people even told me over there not to come. I said, Mommy, don't go. My children said, Mommy, don't go. I said, I will go. I haven't done anything bad. Mm -hmm. Then I came. I reported myself at Waju. They said, come and report every day. Then one Saturday, they chased me at Adenta. I, I, did you hear that? They chased me. The, <laughs> the police chased me there. Yes, that woman at Waju chased me there. And uh, they, they brought handcuffs to come and handcuff me. And I said, I've done what? Those who even defy the children that I brought to you, Rasta and Ko, you let them go. They, they, are coming release, to, they release them to go. You are coming to hang off the other. Sebi, 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 sebi. Sadam Busa won't. You cannot handcuff me, so we started struggling. Now, boy, now, or they handcuff me, maybe go me, Sam. Oh, ba, now who said? Why, Bassa? Me struggle, Penno, a jay, me struggle, but that, but this ain't the fat woman. Or the summer tarry. Stacey, meaning at your day. Me feel her pet, them said, you should have come. When they took me to Waju office. No, I even they didn't take me. I said, I will report myself. When I went there and the uh, young guys, the youth, Nima guys, and all, because I was doing good to everybody, they came, they stopped what you had. Wow. We want mommy, don't we want mommy, don't we want. Hey. Your good work would yes. always speak for you. Yes, so they had to let me go. Then for about six months, they were investigating the case. Six months, so they'd be, I'm sorry, I'm not my better school hall. Six months, then they took me to court. So at that time, where were all the kids? They, they had taken them. All of them? All of them to these uh, NGOs, these white, white, white NGOs mm -hmm. uh, homes that are here. And you know one thing that even set me free? Those orphanages that they took my children to, they didn't have licenses. Wow. They didn't have licenses. But you had... I had, but I didn't they renew. Renew. They didn't have licenses. And at that time, they were not allowing anybody to run an orphanage because what we were doing here were not orphanages. Yes. So they didn't have orphanages. And you know, that boy that they claimed that the, the boy was sodomized at my orphanage, they took the boy two weeks to Osu Children's Home. Hey, when I was in here, the boy, when they were taking the boy, the boy was okay. They took the boy to Osu Children's Home for two weeks, and then a white lady had this boy for another one week. So it was a white lady who discovered that, that so that boy has been uh, sodomized. Oh, then so the lawyer said, 
So the two weeks that you took to, you took him to Osu. Osu, if this little boy had this saw at the back, he would have been dead. Mm -hmm. And then what about the, the white woman and the husband who is a white man? They can even sodomize him there. Yeah. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, not knowing they've bloated the anus of somebody with hair under the oh my lawyer knew you good. A me what a said this and I'm a lawyer said Aqua so do you say that this hole was made almost a crime and chroma, eight year old boy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This hole was made by eight year old boy. Now, prosecutor, I need to ah, Well, I can't tell. Now, my lawyer, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, is it like this size, or that size, or that side, or that side? Her friend said, Well, I don't know. Yeah, you didn't say, so you didn't find out. You, you didn't you do didn't, yes, the right the, the investigation. Right because so now a war honor, it can never be a six months old boy, so. Mm -hmm. eight, eight months, eight years, you know. Now the end, it is say, and now it is say, and now it is say, and now it is say. Because a crowd that one, or maybe I did it to say, you know, I just saw this share. Nature said, I saw no cry, and yen a dear. And now, you boots are a quano to try for to know. And you boots are a child for to do. Did you sign when you took this picture? So, what is the proof that this is the annals of a six months yeah. old baby? Sir, oh, yummy, ye me feeling in a mark, mark. Ah, thank you, thank you. So the judge said, Mammy Doctor, not Mammy Doctor, Grisomabu, Madame Grisomabu, you are acquitted and discharged. Aya Munya Mojumeye. I can't say for this before the prosecutors. Munya Mojumeye. But I train a meeting says, say, will be a coma, will be sick. Then you have my name, I said, I am farming too. That day, no cry, or more bet him, I'm in all struggle. Send Commissa, come and do for same one, can one. Hey, go and come. Ajan, 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 three years and come with them. And you know, my struggle, I got my freedom. And from that day, I've been free. But at that time, I was so stressed up until now, my Benya, a hypertension. And so my, my, my doctors advised me to stay cool. So my, my children asked, Mommy, come, sell everything and come. We don't want you to die. Mm -hmm. So sell everything. We came to the school and I told you, say, sell everything and come. Mommy, please come. Mommy, please come. So I went a little. I went and stayed there a little. They took me to hospital. I had a checkup and all that. And uh, when I felt say I was OK, I came back. That is one of the reasons why I haven't been active these days. Restoration. So after all these struggles, mm. after all these years, you and your mentor being drifted apart. Yes, we drifted do you, apart. Do you still intend to make peace? Yes, go I to want her, to talk yes, to her. Yes, 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 Stacey. I want to make peace because I want to. I wish I can do the fireside again, the storytelling. I love that. Yes, he, she. Peta, peta, de 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 I know the part I love. Aja, 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 ya, 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 Hey, hey boy, dear, I am a man. I am a man. Hey, yo, yo, yo. The one song that I like so much is I remember the dance. Hey, the dad, the dad. Ah, bra, 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 bra. Yo. <laughs> you see, 
I love that. I love to tell stories. It's Saturday evening, eh? 4 o'clock. Everybody's just running. Yes, by the go and by the fireside. But I, I wish I can talk to her. But um, we've, we've started. We've started the process. You know, when uh, Ophelia had her... Uh, her lunch. Not the lunch, but the wedding. The wedding. I was there. She was there. And uh, both of us were at the high table. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I, I, I said hello, and she looked at me with a scorn, but you yeah, have... That's, uh, that's our mother. Yes, yes. But uh, they said they were to come down, Kakra. Because even GBC asked me to go and see her so that uh, we start the whole thing, but I don't know. Otherwise, I will just come out with my own title and start my own storytelling. But uh, I want to, I want to, I want to try and see if Maybe she will we'll agree. Then, we, yeah, then know. we'll continue from there. I hope she will. I hope that by now she's she's cooled down. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I hope she will. It, it's been so we many years. We were very years. good friends. We were yeah. very very good friends. You know, our ages are almost the same, so we were very close. I traveled everywhere that she traveled. I traveled with her, and I hope that it's it's just. Politics that mm -hmm. separated us. Yeah. But I, I know that God, by the grace of God, we can come together. I believe so yes. too. I believe so mm. too. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> so I've danced by the fireside. <laughs> 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 and then there, what my master is saying, I never come home. Or two and a seven or seven. Oh, say, say, and cray, oh, my yashi, shane, then, eh, why, why, eh? What make her say we don't move this Mommy, what is this? You see, but they don't know we have about to take our them culture. Back yes, to our roots. We have to take it's them back. They are no better. Mate, now by the fireside as they are. Because at the time, crying be brave. Oh yes, oh yes. We train them so much, and I hope I will do it. But um, we've started Obra classics. Yeah, it's uh, old, 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 old Obra. No, we show it and then we we'll sit down and discuss it on. Amansan TV. Uh, it, it comes on on Wednesdays, and then the repeat is on Sundays. It's on Sundays. And very oh, soon, sorry, yeah. yes, very soon, I hope to start the fireside. I hope so. We, we are praying. The, we are, we are praying. to initiate Yes, yes, we are the praying. Okay, but that's Because it was said, yeah, man, it's your face to face. <laughs> Anyway, Thank you very much. Mama na show me. Oh Mama. I didn't me me pese me de ade bi emma me pa cho ohine wa wa ha ye sponsor ba ko mhm eh ye yes for oh okay ha omo se me ma wa che die bi right nti me pa cho ohine wa omo se obesi me bia o se we do hu ni nti o ma ma ye bucket ti na ba enye bucket keke ma e ye washing powder oh ana e wo conflicts. We are a friend of which conflicts. Oh, yes. Yeah. Almost say, Yama, we no subi. Hey, anyway, me Oh, me 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 because your sponsor about concern NS Farms and Logistics, when I import it, a more pa pa pa, it will crumble. Say, say, your friend or bat and pa rice. Hey. Now, why your bat and penty? Hey. Yeah, my old bat and pa rice. Hooray! I'm hey. out with your cookie. Hey. It's where the me here, man, my cantinka. I'm on with the young mona brey. If it is, I'm a patch of wine, I am fat mommy rice, no. And Breno, Mammy, a movie, your dead. Hey, Mammy, and yet, we are coming over Tampa, over Tampa. They didn't have a son or crash, there was as I said, or be our bat and be our wouldn't you be with you? Oh, sir, 
Afrostar Oh, <laughs> Lovely viewers, I know this has been a very insightful episode on restoration and I want to say thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, to Special Ice, DDP, Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, to Hooch Conflicts, the smartest conflicts choice. Or let me say the smartest breakfast choice for every family. If you've not bought yours, you're really missing out because everybody here agrees, don't you? And they've started buying. So please make sure you go out and you buy Hooch Crunchy Crunch Conflicts. I would also want to say a very big, big, big thank you to GTP New Style, who always makes sure I look beautiful like a true African woman is supposed to look. And I'm saying a very big thank you to say NS Farms and Logistics, importers of Obatampa Rice. I am saying another super thank you to Ophelia of ABS Collection for my wonderful outfit, to Nancy Black for my makeup, to Roji Hair Sakaman for my hair, and to Wanya Africa for my beautiful accessory today. And always do remember, you can do everything through Christ who strengthens you. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through. And it's just for you.